Alright, new project. I'm not quite sure where this one is going to fall in line with the other Arduino projects, but I think that we are going to use what we are learning in the Arduino to control our solar water heater that we are going to be building for our hot tub. Um, we went up probably $400 last year with the hot tub. I'm guessing a lot of it's heating. So, without any further ado, we're going to start building. Most of this is going to be time lapse. It's going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to take the, I'm going to try and fit this above my existing solar panels on the roof eventually. So we're going to take um, this 4x8 sheet, rip it in half. That's going to take us down to 2 foot, 2 foot. Um, my solar panels are set down about 24 inches from the ridge of my house. I'm going to try and target to put these on the south facing, south facing roof for the most oomph or bang for your buck, if you will. And then we got some one buys. That's just to kind of space everything up, give us some room, heat capture for the top of this to seal in the warmth. We have some polycarb, ooh, wavy roof stuff, clear. Um, I really wanted to go with some like Lexan or something a little more sturdy, but unfortunately it was just way too far out of the budget of this. Right now I'm about $160 into this. We don't have a pump. My goal is to use either the pump that's already on there for circulation or with some kind of diverter valve that diverts to this system or a, an entirely solar powered pump. Like so we're going to rip it, frame it in that, paint it black, coil that bad boy up for now. And it'll get tested on the ground with probably a fountain pump or something like that just set on a timer until we can get the Arduino side of it so we can uh, test the temperature of the water, test the temperature of the coil, compare the two to decide whether or not we want to run the coil. Um, I know there's commercial ones available. Most of them I saw come as like a full kit with a diverter valve and I mean they were starting at like four or five hundred dollars if not more and it's not as fun. So um, here we go. Problem number one, decided to use T111 because it was the cheapest outdoor rated plywood I could get my hands on right now during the pandemic and we got the, the, lap, the lap joints on each side uh, so right now I'm just going to find the center of it, cut it in the center, after I build everything I will come back through with a flush trim bit off those laps no problem all right save your time save your money this ain't worth building commercially about spend about twice as much what i did on this you can have something that works there are a few times that this will make sense if my table saw wasn't buried so bad i would actually be doing this on the table saw but uh, for one rip cut I'm not going to waste the time of pulling it out. Nice if you already have all the material, sure, go for it. Have fun if you want an afternoon or a two-day project. Saw that. I wound up having to pull out at least a small table saw because uh, apparently I didn't buy enough wood. Back to our regular program. But honestly, the most expensive part that makes this project work is a temperature controller not the solar collector. Like I said, spend twice as much, get a commercial version, don't have the headache of almost draining your hot tub because it melted. Gotta use my birch. Or kinked and stopped flowing. The number of times that I've had to go up on the roof alone to fiddle with this is more than enough to pay the extra $150 to have the commercial version. 
Now, where is a problem with that? On my particular setup, I have about two feet of space above my solar panels. That doesn't give me a whole lot of options for commercial versions. The majority of the commercial ones are four foot by eight, 10 or 12 foot, and they run from the ridge down to the eaves. That's not gonna really work on my roof. So I'm kind of stuck in an area right now. There's a couple of dome style ones that I wanna test out. I may give them a shot. I think first I'm gonna try and figure out what kind of output this one is capable of and run it side by side with some of the, the commercial versions. Self-piloting, gonna hope that it doesn't crack them because I really don't wanna I really don't want to drill all these. Maybe that'll actually make this project worthwhile. Have I saved money? Absolutely. Uh, I've saved more than enough to pay for this project. Am I going to reuse the material? Absolutely. The polycarbonate, corrugated polycarbonate, I'll save that for another project. Um, the wood boxes, I don't know what I'm going to actually do with those. The poly tubing will get thrown into my garden from a labor standpoint and from a headache standpoint this is just not worth it not viable not worth it save your time save your money buy the commercial one and get a temperature controller if you're just running this on a swimming pool you could throw it on a on a timer and probably get 90 percent of the way there but with a hot tub, you got a smaller mass and you're going for a higher target temperature. You need a temperature controller. Because very quickly you will undo all that you gain through the day by continuing to run this one hour too late into the afternoon and you start losing your temperature back to the atmosphere. Your heater suddenly becomes a radiator for cooling your hot tub. Get the temperature controller buy the commercial version, your ROI is still there. I would be looking at a one year ROI on the solar collector, which is what my ROI on this was, one year. And I would have done it without the headache. And I would have done it without nearly draining my hot tub. And I would have done it without having to go up onto my roof six, seven, eight times to deal with kinked and melted hose and I wouldn't have had to carry these massive panels up onto the roof it's just not worth it I love all these all these I love all these channels out here that are that are putting touting this as like the end all be all greatest thing since sliced bread way to build these panels but the reality of it is is they cost a significant amount of money to build and you're using material that wasn't meant to be Mine already need to be repainted. I used exterior oil-based paint, and it's already flaking off. I'll be honestly surprised if these survive another summer on my roof without melting something. There's some pictures at the end of the fittings that are just distorted and bloated from, from sitting in the sun. Um, I think at one point I recorded water temperatures pushing 130 degrees. That's insane. To be running through poly tubing that's meant for irrigating your garden. Anyways, so that's my rant. Uh, I was hoping to get it done before halfway through the video, but if you'd like to continue watching, feel free. Thanks, and as always, we'll see what I got next. after a little bit of fighting I think I have it figured out. I split the difference on the two sides, coiled it up, and now I just have the short coil. I just kind of turn it down into the center. Uh, I kind of see it as it goes. So, 
I wound up getting rid of the corrugated and going to the flat. Um, this is the polycarbonate that's corrugated. Just holding it down with these uh, little screws. A couple of every here and there. And then I'm going to take it into the back. I'm going to hook it up. I'm putting one facing east and one facing south around my hot tub right now. All right, we'll finish screwing this down, take it to the back, have everything set up, and we'll show you where we're at. All right, so I got the... Ugh, the wind is probably horrific. Got a little backflow preventer. And then right now, we're still running off a little submersible pump. Uh, right now it is running in one of its cleaning cycles. But, well, let's see if we can get this. Sitting at 100 degrees. It's been sitting at 100 degrees now for about, I don't know, a week. I've had this thing running and basically it's just running off of a little Wi-Fi enabled uh, uh, switch or plug so I can uh, I can manually turn it on and off but I also have it on a timer to where it comes on I think it's like 11 o'clock this roof that it's on is is south facing so I can turn it on quite early in my area um, but I haven't been able to get much above 100 degrees although I know the water coming in at times is well over that right, enough date after quite a bit of repairs, there's the water coming in back there. And we're at 106. And this hot tub won't even go that high, and we're currently set at 70. So, yeah, the heater works. Um, our daily temps have been in the 80s. We're in uh, Southern California, and it is the end of May. So there you go. It does work. All right. So this is my third time now reworking these. Um, this stuff gets hot. It's not meant to get the hot, as hot as it does, especially if the uh, pump's not running. Sorry about the wind noise. But if the pump's not working because the hot tub's too hot, then these things just bake up here and boy do they get hot anyway so I reworked it again you can see some of the kinks that were forming from it getting too heavy on itself so I hope that this solves this problem now um, I'll probably zip these together right here to help hold that one up and you can see like, it's collapsing in places but it definitely works. It definitely works. Um, I need to find something else. I don't think this black tubing is the way to go.